Hello friends, I just finished Ludumdari 36. The theme was ancient technology. I built a game that's a lot like the Black Watchmen and um, inspired by SCP Foundation and a bunch of other science fiction and uh, paranormal stuff. Uh, my game is a, a like a mystery clue hunting deciphering game a lot like the Black Watchmen and you play it in um, you play it through a secure shell session. So I'll give you a quick intro to the game. I don't want to spoil the secrets in case you want to play it. Uh, maybe I'll do a playthrough if no one else does. It would be cool to see someone do a playthrough so I can actually gauge how difficult the game is. I, I think it's pretty hard. If I played it myself and I if, if I didn't make the game, I'm not sure if I could actually finish the game. So I'll show you the game. You can play it yourself by opening just, you know, your average um, terminal in, if you're on a Mac or Linux, or you could use PuTTY or Sigwin if you're on Windows. So uh, you can connect to the server um, ld36.xtoast.com. I'll show you here in the web browser. You can just type in ld36.xtoast.com, and it'll give you a, a, a terminal in your browser. The username, you have to log in to the, the server. Um, we haven't started the game yet, but um, the admin is, or the username is agent, and the password is most secure password ever, password. So here we have the um, session. It's established. Now the game is started. So there's a bunch of stuff you can read that if you're playing the game. I'm going to resize this window here. So um, I'm told I log I need to log in with my username. So uh, I just make something up. Chris. And then the password. Um, make it up also. Um, once you log in for the first time, it saves your password. So you can log in with the same password later. But this is a very insecure server, so don't like reuse your password that you use somewhere else. Just make up a, a password just for this game. Um, my password was food. Okay, so now I've got this menu. I'm um, welcomed back, and it's the Dectile System Browser. And it's, it's a menu, and it's all text-based, so... Actually, I'm going to resize this one more time, in case that logo's in the way. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see. Um, we've got all these options. Uh, we've got a multi-mail reader. We've got an X database, com computer-aided remote viewing, computer-aided cognitive inception, message archive, and execute secure logout. So I don't want to spoil the messages, so I'm not going to go to the mail reader. But let's go to the X database. So I'm going to type in number two. Click enter. And we can we have two options here: look up or back to the menu. Menu. So we'll look up. Oh yeah, you can type the name or the number. Um, and then we've got a four-digit XDB, XDB designation. So in this in this world that I created, <laughs> I created a world. Um, there's these a uh, bunch of experiments that go on, a lot like SCP Foundation, where there's these classified documents. Um, and so what you do is you have to find a designation for this XDB, this uh, experiment. So let's just say the experiment is one, two, three, four. Um, access is denied. That entry is for eyes above your pay grade. Darn. I guess I need to upgrade my level. So I'll go back to main. And this is where I would read messages and see what my um, mission is. Because I'm an agent, I'm re I'm remoting into this um, secure server, and that's where I get my missions, my objectives, etc. So um, I think that's about all I'm going to show you for this. I don't want to spoil any of the secrets. Um, it's not a very long game, but it's I think it's pretty challenging because you have to really dig into all the different features of the Dectile System Browser. Um, you have to explore, not just inside the secure shell, 
there are opportunities to explore outside of the secure shell. And if you've ever played the Black Watchmen, one of the things that happens a lot is you get, um, you, you'll stumble upon messages that look like this. Um, they look like this. See all these numbers? In my game, you also stumble upon um, these encrypted messages, but they're not really encrypted, it's just uh, encoded. And so what you need to do when you find these messages is head on over to ascii2hex.com. That was like one of my old messages. I don't think, I think it was a test one. It wasn't, I didn't have to do with the game. Um, and everything in this game, a spoiler alert, spoiler alert, well, I guess you, you'll kind of need this, and it doesn't tell you how to do this in the game, so I'm going to tell you now. You'll want to copy this code. It's, it's hexadecimal, so you would paste it into hexadecimal and then click this convert button, and it'll convert the hexadecimal to ASCII, and something I can read and make sense of. Um, I recommend keeping a notepad handy and, you know, keeping track of these notes, because the clues matter. The clues matter to get further in the game. You'll have to use what you learn uh, to get to the next step. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'll do a walkthrough if everyone gets stuck. Uh, a video tutorial if everyone gets stuck. Um, you can also connect through Secure Shell. I'll show you that real quick. Clear this. And then it's SSH um, agent at... Uh, ld xtoastcom I'm really tired. I've been up for a long time working on this. Um, so there we go. It's the first time connecting, so we get a fingerprint, and then the password, most secure password ever. And then we're back in just like we were before. It's just whatever your preference is, um, or if you don't have an a easy way to use a secure shell, just use the website, um, ld 36 no, I got that wrong. Hi, uh, ld36.xtoast.com. Um, did I close it? I must have closed it. Oh, there it is. Yep, right there. Okay, and then one other thing is you can totally hack this game. Um, if you want to, just go ahead. Like, don't ruin stuff for. Don't ruin the fun. I guess. I, whatever. If that's fun for you, then I, I didn't take any security precautions. So you could totally hack this game. Um, just putting that out there. Um, if you if you want to play the game how I intended it, though, it's it's going to be a big challenge. I assure you. Um, maybe medium challenge. I don't know. I don't I have no idea because I I made the thing. It's it's easy to me, but at the same time, it seems really hard to me. Um, yeah, that's all. That's all I'll say. Um, I hope you enjoy this game, and um, yes, the game exists outside of this terminal. So, right, right, the rules, I forgot to explain the rules. If you want to play the game how I in intended, don't browse the files, don't browse any files on the file system. Um, if you know the, your way around Linux, you could totally just browse the files um, and, and see all the answers, but if you want to play the game how I intended, only access the game through um, it's game.sh that's what we're running right now and yep okay I'll leave it at that hope you have fun with this game and I had fun making it it was a big challenge and um, yep lots of surprises if you play this game okay thanks for watching have a great day